Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix your Steam Deck issues where you have audio issues when you install Windows 10 or Windows 11 onto your Steam Deck. So one of the first thing that I want to mention is that you're gonna have to get the drivers from the Steam resource website. But I have to be specific on this part is that a lot of people are just downloading Windows 11 and they're just installing the newest version on the Steam Deck. So unfortunately, Windows right now at the moment, if you download the latest update from Windows 11 or Windows 10, I believe, it will not be compatible with the drives that the Steam Deck has. As you guys can see right here, uh, the audio drivers have been updated since June 13. And that's been a while now. And they haven't really updated the new drivers for the audio to work again on the Windows 11 or Windows 10, I believe. Now, what happens is when you install the driver with the latest Windows update on the Steam Deck, even if it's micro SD card or internal storage, whatever you want to do when you install Windows, if you install the latest update of Windows, um, it will not work. Like it will give you a blue screen of death and you will never get audio from it. The other ones work. The other drivers such as the APU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth driver, SD card reader work. It's just the audio right now is an issue. And that can definitely affect your usage of Windows 11 on the Steam Deck. All right. So the first thing to address this issue, if you're having it, um, I would recommend you go to Rufus and get this tool, get the Rufus tool. And you're gonna actually wanna get the portable version. Do not get the 3.01. Uh, you gotta get the portable one. Get the portable one, it's really important you do that because if you don't get that version, then you won't be able to get a Windows 11 version that will work. All right, so here we are guys. So, one thing that I want to mention right off the bat is that you're going to want to download a Windows version that is compatible with the audio drivers for the Steam Deck. So if you just went from the Windows 7, uh, Windows website to get the latest update or Windows ISO image, that's not going to work. The reason I use Rufus is because it's the only tool that I can think of that actually allows you to download an older version of Windows. So you're going to want to click download and you're going to click download and you should wait for it a little bit. It should give you some screen like that. And then once you get that screen, you should be able to get uh, Windows 11 and Windows 10 as well here. Even Windows 8.1. Um, download ISO image. So in this case, we're doing Windows 11. And here's where we're gonna diff or we're gonna see the differences between the Windows OS and which one you should download. So what I wanted to mention is that if you get the Windows version 22H2 version one or 22H2, this is the main issue that's causing the audio drivers. Do not get 22H2 because that means you won't be able to get the audio drivers for the Steam Deck to work on it. Don't get 22H2 build either. You're going to either want to go with 21H2 version 1. 21H2 version 1. Or you can go with 21H2 version 2. Uh, or 21H2 build. Whatever you do, just get these. 21H2. Remember that. 21H2. Do not get 22H2. Because if you do get 22H2, that's, that's not going to work. Um, so make sure to get either of these and click continue and you can choose the version you want. And this is basically, it does the same thing as any other thing. It will just download it for you automatically. You can download it to your PC or browser, or you can download it within the program and then you can flash it on there as well. Um, that's pretty much it though. You can download it and then you can flash it to a micro SD card or a USB drive, whatever you're using for the Steam Deck to get that. Now, I am pretty sure this will not be a permanent issue, but at the moment it is an issue for people who are installing Windows 11 or Windows 10 
on their Steam Deck who who have never seen another video or tutorial. I think most of the tutorials out there don't even explain this at the moment because they're outdated. So I'm, a, I'm going to assume that at some point Steam might actually update the drivers for this. So it's not always going to be a thing where these drivers are going to be old. I'm assuming that at some point Steam will definitely update these drivers. Right now, Windows is really not their main priority. They already came out and stated that Windows has never been their main priority. They're focused on the Steam Deck OS. Um, so that's why they haven't updated these drivers recently because it's not their main priority. They don't really take Windows as their priority. They provided us with drivers, but they right, right at the moment, they're, it's not their main priority. So I'm assuming it will get updated, but until it gets updated, you're going to have to stick with the old version of Windows. One other thing that I want to mention is that when you get Windows uh, update or when you get the Windows, the right version of Windows installed onto your Steam Deck, do not update it. Um, try to avoid the updates and I will show you guys. All right, so I had to cut out a part of the video to show you guys how to disable the Windows update on Windows. Um, basically you're going to go to search and you're going to want to put edit group policy. Uh, once you find the edit group policy program, go ahead and open it up and you should get a program like this on your screen. So as you guys can see, you're going to want to go to administer templates and you're going to go to windows component and you're going to want to go all the way to, it says windows update. Now, some people have this standard or like this. Um, personally, you can go into manage end user experience and where it says configure automatic updates, you're going to want to go ahead and click disabled and you're going to want to go ahead and put apply. And that should be able to disable the automatic updates that you can get on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. It is very important that you do that because if you don't do that, you're going to get the newest update. Now, this will only have to be an issue while while we wait for a Steam driver update. Um, if that didn't work for you, there's also other legacy policies here like allow do not update or stuff like that or allow automatic updates immediate installation. I'd recommend disabling this one as well. It may be a little bit different on your PC. However, um, basically that's all you really have to do to disable the updates and until we actually get an update from Steam where it is compatible with the where it's compatible with the with the new with the new Steam drivers on the website if they ever address this issue of the audio drivers getting updated, you won't have to do this part at all. So at the moment, like I said, you have to install an older version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 in order to get the audio drivers working. Unfortunately, that's the only way. But I still don't think it's really that bad of an issue, though, because, I mean, if you, you the Steam Deck is going to be mainly for gaming, but I can definitely see people downloading programs and files and using it as their own PC. So each to their own. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and have a nice day.